Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this screencast in which we are going to see how we can calculate the cross rate very simply. So let's write the title of this presentation cross rate and quickly let us assume two foreign exchange quotations. Number one, 140 yens to a dollar and number two, Deutsche marks 1.5 to a dollar. Deutsche mark used to be the German currency before the advent of the euro. So we have this quote Deutsche mark 1.5 to a dollar and we know that um, cross rate calculation is possible when we have two quotes in which we have one common currency. So we have two currencies here yens are quoted in terms of dollars and Deutsche marks which are quoted also in terms of dollars. So we can calculate a cross rate between yens and Deutsche marks. So let's do that quickly. Cross rate will be equal to. Now let me give you a little tip. When you come across uh, two foreign exchange quotes in which the order of the currencies is the same. For example, look at these two quotes carefully. Dollar in the first quote is the denominator currency and dollar in the second quote also is the denominator currency. Then your cross rate calculation is pretty simple. What you do is you write the number from the first quote which is 140 yens and you divide this 140 by the number in the second quote. This is 1.5 here, 1.5. So this division is going to give you 93.3333. Now uh, what currency is this 93.3333? The answer is simple. Remember in a cross rate calculation the common currency is supposed to cancel out. So the common currency in these two quotations is the dollar. The dollar here and the dollar here they are going to cancel out and they are going to leave you with yens and Deutsche marks. So what is this now 93.33 is it the yen or is it the Deutsche mark? Look at your calculation in the uh, numerator you wrote 140 yens in the denominator you wrote Deutsche marks. So the same order of the currencies you are going to write here. So you have yens in the numerator and per Deutsche mark. So that is your cross rate calculation. Pretty simple it was, isn't it? Now you can also come across a situation where the two quotes given to you are not in the same order of the currencies. For example, the first quote we have, we have written as it is 140 yens to a dollar. But let's assume if the second quote is given in the format where dollar is in the numerator, what are we going to do then? Let us write this quote but in a reverse fashion. This at the moment it is currently in the format of Deutsche marks to a dollar. If we want to write it in the um, other order, um, dollars to a Deutsche mark, we are going to simply take the reciprocal of 1.15 and that is going to give us 0 0.6666 dollars to a Deutsche mark. So now you have two quotes here with you where the order of the currencies is different. In the first quote the dollar is in the denominator and in the second quote the dollar is in the numerator. The common currency is still the same dollar but in one quote it occurs in the denominator in the second quote it occurs in the numerator. Then the calculation of the cross rate is still pretty simple. Cross rate is equal to you pick up the number from the first quote 140 and then you put a multiplication sign rather than dividing this time you multiply by the second number which you pick up from here. So let's write it 0 0.6666 and since in the cross rate the common currency is going to cancel out so these dollars are going to cancel out so that is going to leave you with yens per Deutsche mark. So you have yens it's going to give you the same answer 93.3333 per Deutsche Mark.